I'm good. How are you? I am. I am good. So the question on the table is: What do women owe their community? I think as a black woman, subscribe well, now. Not seeing... Can you do me a favor? Can you turn off the background noise? It's coming across. Is I continue this happening? Oh. Guys, I'm going to shut the comments down so we can have a conversation. Um, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I think just as a black woman who didn't have any like strong examples of positive relationships, uh -huh. marriage is something I never aspired to have. It was like, I'm going to just be successful. I'm going to okay. make some money. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to have my dog and my car. <laughs> and then I realized when I was like 26, like, damn, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm like, damn, I'm going to die alone. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to do the work. So I did the work, started going to therapy. Um, I knew I had a lot of unresolved daddy issues. So I was like, look, girl, figure it out. Get your credit up. Be bomb. But also, like, do the work. I started dating. I was making sure that I was the best version of myself. Okay. And I want my audience to be the best version of themselves because I don't want them to die alone. Okay. So um, how old are you? I am 31. 31. But I'm married. Uh -huh. I just don't have my ring on. <laughs> okay. So what would you say that women owe the community? I got your story. Uh, short, short version of the story, but what would you tell the typical single modern woman that she owes our community? I think or do you think we or, or do you think or do you think single people or individuals don't owe the community anything? No, I think that's the problem. I think we owe our community everything and I think we owe our community the accountability. Like and a lot of my people who I love and care for, I'm like, we gotta do the work. What like does that mean? the work we have to hit the gym. We have to, you know, break the status quo. We have to hold each other accountable. You know, the world isn't gonna like work so for you, us. You say we. You mean who are you referring to as we women? as black women. Okay. So do you feel like that black women in this case act as though they owe they that they owe the community anything? I don't think we do, but I think a lot of us are waking up. And I think a lot of us are realizing that if it's not us, it's you know, I mean, you're definitely adding to it, but a lot of us are not holding ourselves accountable. We think the world is going to happen to us and for us because, you know, we're the cosmopolitan generation. We were sold all this, excuse me, um, mm -hmm. the rainbows and you can have everything. You can have the career, the husband, you know, the lifestyle. And it's like, no, you can't. And it's okay. So when you have this, so do you have this conversation with women? All the time. <laughs> and how is it received? I think a lot of the people on my, I guess, my platform receive it. I get a lot of pushback. From who? But I think like being someone that's 31 and married to I guess from who? Say you, get, you get a pushback from who? My peoples. I don't know. I mean, you, I mean, you say I get it's well received, but then I get pushback. So So yeah, so it's well received. I want to say it's like a 70/30. So it's like, well, I wasn't born skinny. I wasn't born a 10. So like, why do I have to measure up? Why do I have to be this? And it's like, you don't have to, but you can accept the fact that you are a six. It's nothing wrong. I watch your content. I love you, by the way. Well, nothing you. wrong with being a six. But the fact is, we're kind of like raised to think that we deserve. Everybody's not going to have a high value man. Some people don't even like really want to be a high value wife. So why oh, do you want to be married? I am. Um, why do you keep saying she's not married? To I don't care about that, folks. Let me go ahead and do this. I don't really care about that stuff you're talking about right now. Um, when you, have, when you hold, say things to hold women accountable, what percentage of your content are you, are you doing to hold women accountable? Um, maybe like 20%. It's something that's new for me. All right. Mainly because most of my platform is like women. So, okay. and most, you know. So, so here's, my, here's my question. If, most of your platform is women, and women are the most unaccountable. What, what do you feel is more unaccountable to the community? 
is it women? Is it men? Or do you think it's equal? I want to say woman only because I think just from what I know, you know, a lot of us just try to skate by. Well, when, well I mean, I mean, it, it, I think it's undoubtedly women because I don't hear women being told they need to graduate, go work, and then come back and save the community. I don't hear that from women. We, we tell women to go out and live their best life in hot girl summer. We tell men they need to come back to the hood. I think a lot of women do tell other women to come back to the hood. I think it's just not what? promoted because it's not it's not where? pretty. It's not great. Wait, 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 wait. Tell me why they do this because I'm 52 years old. I mean, I, listen. I can't think of any place where women are told. I can't think of any place where women are told to come back to the hood and and, and tutor and mentor I mean, and buy property. I know a lot of women, and I, I don't know if it's just because I'm you know I'm it's in my thirties now. It's anecdotal. Anecdotal. And here's the reason. I'm here's what I'm here's my challenge. If you know that you talk to 20 percent. 20% of your content is about telling women to do the work they need to do. Well, trying to live the lifestyle. Because, I, you know, I'm a woman, so I know what we don't like. And this is, this is just me just being real. Like, mm -hmm. I was raised to think, like, you're a baddie. You don't need anybody. Like, that's the way I was raised. Okay. I'm that's unwriting fine. That. That, that. I'm unwriting that's fine. that. That's fine. But what I'm saying is... And trying to I, live by example. Yes, because the, what, do you think women... Black women actually listen to what black men have to say? No, but we listen to each other. That's what I'm saying. Like, we are actually, we're doing it. It's just you don't see it. Well, that's the, and that's the problem. That's the Kevin, problem. They don't want to hear it, though. They don't like it. No, we don't no, like it. No, and I'm no, speaking... see, 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 and that's my issue right there. You don't want to disrupt. You don't want the pain. You want this pain. So, it's a lot of oh, Okay, then who's going to do the work? Can I ask you a question? After you answer mine. <laughs> We're going to do the work. But how no, no, can no, we no, do no, it? no, 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 no. No, you can't just say that. Kevin, I just went live today and I told everyone. Listen, I listen, and listen. I no, 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 listen, listen. Example. 20%, 80%. I'm also newly married, Kevin, to be fair. So it's like new for my. All right. So, and this is. From experience. And so this is this is a, a, a an area that needs improvement. The it's women a, who know better have to stand in the gap, just like the men you want to do, because it's our community, whether you like it or not. And if you know that women don't listen to men, if y'all don't stand up and speak, what do you think is going to change? And the reality is it comes across like this to me. I learned it. I'll do what I can do, when I can do. But at the end of the day, I'm only pushed so much and somebody else will come do the work. That's and that's No, it is. It is. But I guess what I'm saying. Because then I get women you. asking me, well, who are you to talk to women? Because y'all won't do it. Kevin. Oh, I, you, you, deal with, you, deal with, you deal with women, right? You know what they say and how they react to you, right? Imagine, I almost got canceled for, like, thank God I have my own business, but it's like, you who know, if I didn't. Hmm? Do you see what they're doing to me? No, I know, but they're, they're harder on women. They don't want us. They're harder. Okay, let me not say that. From my own experience, I literally... Hey, tell you mean, lady. <laughs> Kevin, I literally got canceled for just, like, a caption. and I, Like, for 72 hours, I had to literally leave Who the internet. You? Who canceled you? Nobody canceled me, but they tried to. So, uh, here's what I think. We want it easy. I want you to think, I want you to, I want you to just, you're 31, how old are you, 31, 32? 31. I want you to take yourself back to 1950, and you were born in 1950, so that means you were coming of age in the civil rights generation. I already know where this is going, you're right, you're right. We do have it easy. We have it easy. So, I mean, this, so this is, I mean, I didn't go looking for this, but here I am, so it's like, okay, I'm looking for allies, looking for people who's, who do who things like, well, go ahead and do you, but I'm newly married and I get this and I wasn't raised with that. Uh, I, neither was I. But if you're not going to, here's the thing. If not you, then who? Oh. You have 500,000 Instagram followers, right? Right? Yeah. 
If not you, then I guess I can definitely take accountability. You see, the point. you see the point. I do, and I, I'm trying to lead by example, Kevin. And I think you know anyone you in my circle can say that, Kevin. Technically, you know, I will be. Uh, what would you say? I'm a I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. <laughs> like I, you know, marriage was something I was raised not to want. But I realized okay. it was something I get, that I, I, get, I needed. I get you move point. But here's the thing. The reason why it doesn't get any better is because what, what are you here in the black community? Once we get, we never go back and do nothing. So that, that's what they want. Black men get something, never Jeez. go back to it. But then this is what I'm saying. That's bull crap. Y'all never come back and do it. You do it till it, till, till it, it's like, oh, I'm not going to risk that because I know how that's going to be. So I'm, a, I'm going to profit from the hood. I'm going to profit from my sisters. 80% of the content I'm going to give them. All right, Kevin, you ain't got to do that to me tonight, though. But what I'm saying, that, and the reason is because we don't have women supporting women on the same message that got you married. Can I see? Like, what we do, got what messages do? telling women that you, you're fine the way you are, and you think, and you this, and you that. And, all right, and who, and here's the thing. Who does it end up hurting at the end? Women that look like me. That's all I'm trying to get lady women to understand. That's that's how it ends up hurting women that look like you because of the pushback. Well, if women have <laughs> so think about this from a power standpoint. Why do we need to worry about institutional racism, white supremacy, all of all these other institutional forces? We're not even willing to do the work together. So I thank you for having the conversation because it is going to be incumbent for more women to talk to women. Because unfortunately, we're in a position right now in our community where the women don't really put much value in what men say. And when women stand up and say something, they want to cancel you. That's the truth. And unfortunately, uh, unless women start standing up to where you have some backup that's female, nothing's really going to change. I'm going to campaign for some backup. All right, sis. Appreciate it. Keep doing the work. Thank you.